Hello friends, this video on carbon and its compound part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 19. Then I have something called ketone group. Till now we have seen the OH group, halo group and uh, COH group. All these adds at the end, aldehyde groups. But these ketone group is uh, added at the between, right? And so it should have at least three carbons because one carbon ketone itself has and then if you are adding something here, some group here, minimum you can add is CS3, here also minimum you can add is CS3, correct? Because if you add H here, it becomes COH, there becomes aldehyde, so you can't add H here, minimum you can add is CS3, so the minimum ketone will have three carbon atoms, hope you understand this. See, ketone group is something, I am telling it occurs only in the between, right? So the to occur in the between, one carbon it has already and the minimum you can add is CS3, CS3 both side. So the minimum it can have is 3 carbon atoms, 2 which you add and 1 it already has. So it is written by C, O or this one, both are same actually. So simplest ketone as I told is CS3, CO, CS3, correct? Why? Because you added CS3 here and CS3 here, this is the simplest ketone. Correct, and this is called uh, propanone. Anyway, we'll take this when you take the IUPAC name of this. And general formula is R1 CO R2, where R1 and R2 are alkyl group. Please note that R1 and R2 can't be hydrogen. It can't be hydrogen. It has to be alkyl group, right? It has it has to be alkyl group. So this is general formula. And uh, example is this. The same example I have taken anyway. And they also form a homologous series. For example, CS3 CO CS3. I have again CS3, C2H5, CS3, C3H7 and CS3, COC4, H9. So they are all homologous, uh, homologous series with similar chemical property. Correct. Now let's do a naming convention uh, of this IUPAC name. So here we use a suffix to show the presence of ketone group by appending it with the parent alkanes. And we use the three letter of this word ketone, own actually, to use a suffix. And we can do this naming convention to understand. So use the IUPAC first. This guy has three carbon, so meth eth probe. So it will be something called prope, propane. And one word has to be used, or any word has to be used in the suffix, so it will be propanol. Correct? This guy, one, two, and plus two, four. Four is butane, right? And then we have to use this word betanol. This guy is 1, 2 plus 3, 5. 5 is pen. So it is pen a non. This guy is 1, 2 plus 4, 6. 6 is hexane. So it is hexanon. Correct? This is how you name this using IUPAC name. Correct. And let's see the common name of this. Common name. So common name of propanon is uh, acetone, I think. Yeah, it's acetone. This guy is acetone. This guy is ethyl methyl ketone. Ethyl methyl ketone. I'll tell you how it came. See, E will come first because it's a, I mean, there's a ethyl group, there's a methyl group, so ethyl, methyl, ketone, right? This guy is methyl, this guy is propyl, this guy is methyl, propyl, ketone. You'll say why here methyl came last here, second? They generally fall for the alphabetic order E comes before M, M comes before P. So that's why they have done like this. so. That's a common name actually, so we can't help in this case. So and this guy will be four here, right? So it will be butyl, methyl, ketone. So they are common names. So before this IUPAC name came, since they are all common compounds, 
the commonly the scientists used to call this guy as acetone this guy ethyl methyl ketone this guy is methyl propyl ketone this guy is butyl methyl ketone you don't have to remember common name just remember how you get the iupac name then we have something called carboxylic group they are also called carboxylic acids or organic acids so or organic acids well acids group actually and it also occurs at the end the simplest is hcoh because carbon is already there so you are at h here correct so this guy is called uh, methanoic acid also called formic acid we will we'll discuss this when we discuss the iupac name and the general formula is rcoh where r is any alkyl group or hydrogen right because we saw hcoh also exists right so i'll say alkyl group or any hydrogen so they also form a homologous series if you see HCOH, COH, COH, C2H5, COH, and they all have similar property. So COH is like this: you have C carbon, one uh, oxygen is attached to one oxygen with double bond, and attached to OH group with one single bond. Or you can write like this also: COH. Correct. So let's do a naming convention of this. So carboxylic acids are named as alkanoic acid, alkanoic acids. So you have the alkane name and then you add this acid. For example, you remove this uh, E is replaced by oic and then you add this acid word. So for example, methane, you have this methane, you remove the, you remove the word E, you add this oic and acid. It becomes methanoic acid. Correct? So let's do that. Let's take some examples and let's do the naming division of SCOH. I'm doing the IUPC here first. This guy has one carbon, so this is methane. You remove the word E, I'll not write E, I'll write oic and I write acid. So this is methanoic acid. Second, I'll take this guy, CS3COH. There are two carbon atoms, so this becomes ethane, E I remove, oic acid, methanoic acid. For this guy, I have three carbon atoms, so this becomes meth -eth -pro propanoic acid. Correct? For all these, I have some common names also because before this uh, IUPAC name, we used to call this by a common name. My methanoic acid is also called formic acid. My ethanoic acid is also called acetic acid. Don't ask me why it is called acetic, why it is called formic. That's how it is. That's a common name. There is no rule for that, right? And then we have uh, this guy, propanoic acid. So the common name was propenoic acid here. So if you see, there is not much difference. It is propane, it is propene, Propi, propionic, propionic acid actually. Propionic, propionic. Only the spelling difference I like to, uh, in a clear way. Pro, P O, Nick. Propionic acid. This is the common name. So there's no rule for common name. That's why it used to be get called before IUPAC name came into picture. So if you remember that, that's all. So that's how the naming convention is. You have uh, also called alkanoic acid. You replaced E with OI. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.